For the past four months, the family of Angie Pipkin has gone through something that many of us can't even imagine. I'm Allison Floyd. And I'm Tim McGinnis. Angie disappeared back in January. A month later, Randy Robinson was charged with her murder. Last week, remains were found in Florence County, and yesterday her family learned they were positively identified as Angie's. WPDE News Channel 15's Courtney Griffin has been in touch with the family since Angie disappeared. She spoke with them today to see how they're holding up. Courtney. Tim, today Angie's mother and daughter say it's not getting any easier, and now they reflect on the good time spent with Angie. She's the one who taught me to sing. She deserves an arm full of roses. There are many ways Angie Pipkin is remembered, whether it's through her daughter's voice and smile, seeing flowers bloom, or the sunshine. She wasn't just a mom to me, she was my best friend. She was the person that I always went to for everything. And um, she had a great smile. Oh, I yeah. loved my mom's smile. Taylor is Angie's 15-year-old daughter. Gail is Angie's mother. They both had a feeling that the remains found on May 14th would be identified as Angie's. It just hurts real bad, you know, knowing what he did to her, you know, and it's not all of her. I can't bury all of her. The family says this is not closure. I know that. You're not supposed to hate anybody. But I hate this man. I just wish I could. I just got so much anger towards him because I made mean, have to do what he did to my daughter. But as the wind blows and the flowers grow, the family reflects on the memories. She was always one to make you laugh. You know, if you were feeling down and out, she would be cracking jokes and stuff. Taylor says summer was her mother's favorite time of year. During the summers, we'd lay out in the yard together, we'd talk together, and on nights, you know, we'd watch movies. Though she's gone, her spirit remains in her two daughters. Taylor and seven-year-old Gracie. My mom's thing was like, I love you more than all the stars in the sky. I love you bigger than the ocean. Yeah. That was our thing. And I do, I love my mom more than all the stars in the sky. I always will. As for funeral arrangements, Gail says they're planning to have it next week in Aner, either on Sunday or Monday. The public is welcome to attend. Tim. Sad story. Thanks, Courtney. Gail Pipkin tells us only part of Angie's body was found. Police are still searching for other remains.